Hello there, fellow traveler. Observing and capturing the epic struggle for Skyrim. When brothers clash with bitter blades, surely there is a song to be found. Mm-hmm. still have plenty to sell. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Need if it's work, work you're looking just for? let me know. Holder's the one to talk to. If it's work you're looking for, Holder's the one to talk to. in mighty R.K., God of life and death? I'm glad to know that because I need your help. My amulet of R.K., it's the source of my divine powers and I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catac- Excellent! You've done us great service! Here is your reward, and the blessing of our cave be upon you. spend so much time among the dip oh thank RK please take this gold for your troubles it was a pleasure hi there <laughs> think I got a clean margaret I enjoy this work well enough here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. 
I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. Jarl is as you can. Excellent. You've done us a great service. 
Here is your reward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Peak. Stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor... Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But... Ah! Wagon wheel damnedest... Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. I'll talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Ah, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero fella? Huh, tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools already asked me about fun. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother mother my eye he could have anything in there war contraband weapons skooma ain't no way i'm getting involved in any of that what and just who in mara's name are you anyway hmm? come here telling me my business and for what to help a, a, a fool look i i yes you're right you're right fella might be nutters might not but fact is he needs help I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Ooh, poor... You... you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clinky gold, a few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> Their traveler, come to the night gate for food or lodging. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. This old place, huh. been here forever. Built by my great granddad, run by him 
then all the way up the line to me. Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road, but mostly just old full time, come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Of course, there's the orc, long-term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. Him? Oh, uh, uh, name's, uh, Balablob, or, uh, Malaklob, uh, uh, one of them funny orc names. Talks real good, though. Not the savage at all. Said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is, but it must earn him some pretty coin. He's paid up for the next few months. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake. Sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Man can do whatever he pleases, far as I care. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Beds and beer are both lousy, you ask me. Sure, walk away. I wasn't talking or anything.
heaven's sake, Skull. Who do you think we're threatening with our old... Unless you're here to solve this so nightmare. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. That's right. Dawnstar. My Dawnstar is plagued with nightmares. I haven't... That priest of Marlow who came here before you says the divines will... Well, until they do, I don't have any business to discuss with outsiders. Well, the Stormcloaks are destined to win this fight. Talos is with us, and when you fight under a divine's blessing... <laughs> Dawnstar has a history of being the site of battles that have crippled the fate of the Empire. <laughs> I hope this remains true. Don't bother me again unless it's important. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Hmm? What? Yes. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares, not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmare. Your concerns are understandable. Trust is a very difficult commodity to come by these days. I can only give you my word as a priest of Mara that my intentions are honorable. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Huh? Got something to say? I plan to spend all the days I got left on the water. It's where I belong. Yes, my daughter. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. Before we enter, I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No, 
Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will 